Welcome to Finance in Excel video number 40. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for chapter 5 or the PDFs for chapter 5, just click on the link below the video and scroll way down to the finance class section. Hey, we got to talk about perpetuity or console. Now, this is a chapter, chapter 5. We're talking about cash flows, multiple cash flows. Now, we'll come back to this little model again in chapter 7, I think, for stocks. Uh, but what is a perpetuity? Perpetuity means just keeps on going. So this is an annuity. Oh, and if it's an annuity, that means equal cash flows, equal time periods between each cash flow. So it's an annuity where cash flows continue forever. Huh? Well, preferred stock are considered perpetuities. And preferred stock just means there's some amount of money that uh, they're gonna, you're going to get each period. And um, so it fits the 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 bill of an annuity. Now, preferred stock, remember the stock, when you issue stock, the company could theoretically keep going forever, right? So, because it's a corporation, um, and the owners could come and go. They sell the stock, but the company keeps going. So when they value uh, preferred stock, they use this little model here. Now, uh, perpetuity model. Now, here's our formula, present value of, oh yeah, present value of an annuity. Here's our formula. But we got to think about this. If it's forever, what happens to this right here? Well, that's like a little infinity sign. Well, if that's true, then what does a negative exponent mean? It just means you take this thing and put it under 1. So 1 divided by that, right? See, no negative sign, because that's what the negative sign implies. Well, look at this. This is If this goes to infinity and exponent, that means this gets bigger and bigger, and it just gets gigantic. Well, what is 1 divided by a gazillion? It's a zero, right? So this becomes one uh, minus zero. I have it written down here. So here it is, one minus zero over this period interest rate times PMT. So now we have PMT. I just reversed it. One minus zero. Oh well, what's that? One divided by this times PMT. Well, we can just go PMT times one, and this becomes our formula for a perpetuity. Pretty straightforward. We just come here. So here's our quarterly dividend payment. Here's our quarterly discount rate we're going to assume. So we simply take that future cash flow divided by this uh, period rate. And so that is one method of valuing preferred stock. The value of stock with these parameters would be $31.25. All right, um, let's see. Coming up uh, the next, uh, I think the three last videos for Chapter 5 will be uh, loan schedules for different types of loans. All right, see you next video.